World Bank's Vice President for the Africa Region, Hafiz Ghanem, has led the opening of the bank's new group office in Somalia following the conclusion of the, his first visit to the country after witnessing the progress made by the government and people. The World Bank Group and other development partners have been supporting Somalia's reforms since 2014 through the Somalia Multi-Partner Trust Fund, which finances government-led state building for service delivery and economic growth with over 447 US dollars mil US 447 million US dollars rather from 11 donors. For more, we go with this report. In a major boost for the government. The Vice President of the Global Money Lending Institution unveiled the offices during his first visit to the Horn of African Nation. Authorities say the move is a testament of increased donor confidence in its finance reform program. Our objective is really uh, to invest much more in, uh, in Somalia, uh, to create more jobs, more opportunities for the young uh, Somali people. We need to capitalize on this energy, on, on Somalia's youth all Somalia's diaspora to rebuild the new Somalia, to support growth by investing in the digital economy, in ICT, in energy, and, uh, and, and in different areas. The government has in recent years stepped up efforts in seeking arrest clearance from leading financial institutions. Somalia says it expects positive outcome next year as the country approaches the decision point for the heavily indebted poor countries program. We, we really, really thank the World Bank and its engagement for the last many years. Through thick and thin, you have been with us. We are in that program of SMB4. And as you very well know and noted today, uh, we are cleaning everything and we are doing everything possible on our side uh, to be able to finalize our SMB program benchmarks. A uh, number of very, very critical uh, benchmarks have already been done. Last year, World Bank announced an $80 million grant for Somalia to help strengthen its financial sector and improve service delivery, marking the first disbursement to Mogadishu in 30 years. Meanwhile, the country's cabinet endorsed a draft budget for 2020 worth more than $460 million, up from $168 million in 2016. Various sectors received a boost, including security, education and healthcare. When we took over, government budget stood at 168 million US dollars. Since then, each year, we saw an increase of more than 70 million US dollars. Last year, we recorded more than 120 million included into the budget. Based on this, we hope to have our arrears cleared by February. Analysts attribute recent financial progress to an increase in domestic revenue and proper tax collection. Mogadishu now says its path to financial reforms remains on track. The country's president recently signed an anti-corruption bill into law, the latest in efforts to tackle graft in one of the world's most corrupt nations. Well, Somalia is looking forward to serious economic reform 